All right. Oh, what is that? I just got a new set of clippers and uh, I messed up on the size of the, the clipper and I ended up shaving my mustache a little too low. Now I've got this weird looking thing on my face. Hey, it'll grow back out. Hopefully next video it'll look fine. But let's go ahead and continue with the video anyways. So about a year ago, I made the video on unboxing and doing a quick review on this Milwaukee 16 inch chainsaw. I believe this is tool number 2727-20. I'll go ahead and insert a link to this tool in the description down below as well. And I'll go ahead and insert a link to the video that I did about a year ago. Fast forward one year, I just wanted to do a quick follow up and I figured since I'm recording this video, I'll show you guys how to change the chain on this chainsaw and maybe cover some maintenance stuff over it. Because it is an electrical tool, battery operated, there really isn't much to maintain aside from just making sure that your, your chain is tight on the guide and just making sure you've got uh, chain oil or you've got, what is it called? Bar and chain oil in the little oil compartment. Because it is a Milwaukee tool, you go to search Milwaukee chainsaw chain, you automatically think that, oh, you need to get a Milwaukee branded chain. That is not the case. And because I haven't really found much content on how to change the chains on these things, I figured I would try to make this video to kind of help you guys out if you're watching this video and hopefully you can benefit from it. I needed a chain like yesterday and I ordered some chains from Home Depot.com uh, you, just because they had a bundle deal. You could buy them off of Amazon, off of eBay. I'll go ahead and insert a link in the description uh, down below to the Milwaukee chains that I ordered. But I went to my local Home Depot and they also sell this on Amazon. This is the second organ chain that I'm using on this Milwaukee chainsaw and it works great. It even says on the back of here that you can use a you can use this chain for a Milwaukee chainsaw. So I figured why not make a video on how to change the chain. For this process, obviously we're going to need a chain. We've got a 13 mil socket on here. We've got a flathead screwdriver and we've got some bar and chain oil as well as just a rag or a washcloth to clean off the debris that's gonna be in there. So you wanna make sure that the brake is applied and then make sure there's no battery in here just to play it safe. You don't want this chain operating while uh, you're working on it. So with the chainsaw on its side like that, we're going to go ahead and grab our 13 mil socket. We're going to go ahead and loosen these two right here. All right. We'll just go ahead and take them off since we're changing the chain. I loosened it up using my ratchet, then I just took them off with my hands. We'll go ahead and pull this off. This just basically pulls off. And look at all that crud in there. We'll go ahead outside in the driveway and just tap this on the driveway just to get all that crud out. And then over here, you've got all this stuff. We'll put it on the table for now and then I'll just sweep that into a trash can. All right. So you wanna hold this assembly right here. Um, I have it tight so it won't go anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead with our flathead screwdriver and we're gonna go counterclockwise over here on this third pin just to loosen up that guide pin. There we go. And what this is doing is, as you're loosening this pin right here, I don't know if you guys can see that black pin that's going through this uh, device. I forget what they call this part. But uh, this black pin basically pushes this gray guide out and it puts tension on the chain. So as we loosen, as we loosen this notch right here, it's bringing that black pin back this way to loosen this guide. And here we have a loose chain and guide. All right. So take note as you're taking this off. If you look close at the chain, let's see if there's a, you can see like right here. Let's see if we could kind of get that in focus. All right. Well, if you, if you look on the chain, you'll see it's got an arrow saying that it goes in that direction. So the chainsaw brings the chain in this direction. So I believe that's clockwise, right? Yeah, that's clockwise. So we want to make sure that when we put the new chain on, the arrow is pointing that way. So we'll go ahead and set this aside for now and we'll get this all cleaned up. It doesn't have to be perfect because it'll just get dirty again. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this on the driveway just to get that crud out. All right, so we'll grab our new chain. 
And with the new chain, you can see the arrow. Well, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the arrow, we're gonna go that way. So we're gonna take our old guide, take this off, bring the new chain, and basically just feed it onto the guide. It's not rocket science. Just like that. All right. So once the chain is fed into the guide, we'll go ahead and try to feed it onto this, this rotating assembly right here that's on the chainsaw while we bring it down. And then this bottom hole right here, we want to line up with that, that, that pin guide thing. Sorry, I don't know the terminology for all the parts on this chainsaw, but I'm a, I'm a visual guy, so I learned pretty good just by visually looking at it. There we go. All right. So we've got, we've got the chain in place. We've got the chain in the guide. We've got this pin through that hole. We'll go ahead and grab our screwdriver and we'll go clockwise this time to put some tension on this, uh, this gray guide right here. I think this is called the bar. There we go. So we've got some good ch tension on it. Nothing too crazy. We'll go ahead and like hand tighten it. All right. Now we can go ahead with our outer assembly here. Place that back over the two threaded uh, pins over there. And clean around it just a little bit. Nothing fancy. Go ahead and you always want to hand thread bolts and nuts and whatnot. So it's always good practice. We'll hand thread it. I'll go ahead and just get it like hand tight real quick. Nothing like too tight. Just because I want to tighten the tension on the chain one more. So go ahead and tighten that guide right there. I'm not going macho on it. I'm just, you know, hand tight. Nothing crazy. All right. So if you guys can see the, the tension on that chain, that's pretty good. So once that tension is there, we'll go ahead and tighten these pretty good. All right, other one. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and put some bar and chain oil in here. So you can find this at your local hardware store or on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description down below to everything in this video probably. So on this side, we've got a little reservoir here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that open. There we go, set that aside. Open up our bar and chain oil. And we'll just pour it in there until we fill it up. Be careful, it fills up fairly quickly. Just like that. Alright, make sure it's nice and tight. Let's go get a battery and test it out. Guys, okay, so the battery that we're going to be using today is a high output M18 8.0 batteries. I have a whole bunch of these just because whenever I buy bundles, usually they come with 8.0s or 6.0s. I like these because it's about the same size as the 6.0 and I believe some of the 5.0s, but you're getting your, a better bang for the buck with the 8.0. And you get some decent runtime with an 8.0 battery. So I would say maybe having this run straight, you know, cutting nonstop through some wood, I'd probably say you get about a good 25 or maybe 20 minutes of runtime with this. I, maybe plus or minus, I could be wrong. You're, you're getting a good uh, amount of time with an 8.0 battery. So let's go ahead and put this in here and let's go, uh, let's go test it out. So well, here is a tree that I just cut down the other day. If you're a tree expert and you're looking at me and saying you cut it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, before we get to using the chainsaw, we wanna make sure that we got the chain on right and we wanna make sure that the oil is actively coming out. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that the oil is actively coming out. What you can do is you can come up to like a wall or some kind of light surface 
and we'll go ahead and take the brake off. Well, before we do this, I recommend wearing some safety uh, equipment, maybe some safety goggles, some gloves, and don't wear Crocs. But we're gonna go ahead and on the side of the tree, I'm gonna go ahead and run the chainsaw just to make sure that there's, you're gonna see little oil spl uh, sputtering on the, on the surface. And that basically shows that the chain is being lubricated. All right, we've got some we've got some oil coming out and hitting the surface, so we're good to go. It's lubricated. If you want to, you know, make if you want to take extra measures, apply the brake, take the battery out, and we could touch the the chain. There's definitely lubrication on there, so we're good to go. So to make sure that the chain was installed in the correct direction, we'll go ahead and cut through some wood. If it if it cuts through the wood and it's basically biting through it, and if you feel the chain biting through the wood. That means that we got the chain on right. If you're, if you've got the chain on here and you're kind of struggling to bite through the wood, that means you've got the chain uh, installed in the opposite direction. So I don't really know the proper way of cutting trees, but uh, this is kind of my method. If you look over here on the chainsaw, you've got these teeth. So what I like to do is try to, I'll go ahead and feed the chain through right feed the chainsaw through and then once we're in a little bit we'll kind of use the teeth as a as a way to like grab it's basically kind of like a pivot point in a way so you guys will see hopefully you can catch that on camera so break off chainsaw Just like butter so we've got the chain on in the right direction and then if you guys saw in the video I was kind of as soon as I got in so as soon as I got in here and I could uh, hook on with the teeth I was basically using that as like a pivot point for my uh, chainsaw as I was going through it but uh, yeah that's pretty much how to put a chain on here so I am by no means a professional tree removal guy or like a professional chainsaw expert I am just your typical DIY dad who's got some decent property and I, whenever there's a tree in my way or I need to cut up firewood and uh, I need to use a chainsaw, that's pretty much the justification for me having a chainsaw. So if you're looking to buy one of these for your professional tree removal business, maybe I would recommend going more towards a gas powered chainsaw, but if you're someone like me who uses this maybe once in a blue moon, I probably use this maybe once every three four months it works great because when you store it there's no you know there's no special treatment for storing it you don't have to put any gas treatment in here turning it on is as simple as putting a battery in it and clicking the trigger but if you're looking to cut down some really big 100 year old 200 year old trees maybe this isn't the best route for you uh, this is would probably be good for cutting the branches off those trees now don't get me wrong this thing could probably cut those kind of trees I just don't picture myself or somebody using something like this to cut trees like that. That's pretty much my overview of this chainsaw. Uh, there, with it being battery operated, it's fairly simple. As long as you're keeping your chain lubed and you're not getting the bar stuck inside a tree when you're cutting it, that's a whole different topic. I don't think I have the skills to cover that topic as far as how to cut a tree and whatnot. Uh, there's tons of great videos out there and people showing you how to cut a tree the right way. Uh, I highly recommend watching those before you just take your chainsaw out and start cutting trees. Don't be that guy. That guy was basically me. I was going through chains like crazy and this chain was getting loose and all that. If you find yourself needing to tighten your chain all the time or your chain's coming off the guide, by the way, if the chain comes off the guide, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just a process to put it back on. Basically follow the same process as how I put the chain on here. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I've got to take this chainsaw actually to uh, one of our properties and cut up some firewood, get it ready for a bonfire that I'm having tonight. The, the wood is already cut down. I'm just chopping it up. So it's, it's dry. It's good to go. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. It motivates me to do more of this kind of content. I'm going to go ahead and insert links to all the products that I use today in the description down below. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment down below and I will get back to you as best as I can. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.